Yo, what's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is good. And today we are going to be taking a look at Hernandez, Chicarito. So this was one of my favorite players for United. He was always there scoring goals, banging them in, and is the true perfect super sub. Now he is in this pack. There's a limited draw of 50 players. You can actually clear the agent so you can get every single one of these players in the pack. If you are a fan of any of these players, you've got the five here, featured ones, and then you've got Epic uh, Chicarita, Chicarito. Um, the rest of the pack, I mean, you're, have to go to go, you're going to have to go through a lot of Deadwood to guarantee you get him. I don't know if he is worth it. I do think that Robbie Keane is probably a better option, but I will show you how he tracks up. I'll give you two bills of him because a lot of people have been asking me about him, and I'll show you how to get that 94 overall rating as well on his card. Uh, so we start off, right? The big thing I like about him is the fact that he is on B form as an epic player. That's always nice. And he also has acrobatic finishing, a first-time shot, super sub, and heading. So he doesn't have one-touch pass or double-touch, which kind of tells you all you need to know about this type of player, right? He's not going to be Romario-esque, although he is going to finish like Romario, if that makes sense, right? So you have some running gun strikers, and then you have some just, you know, assassins in the middle of the pitch or in the middle of the goals that are just able to put it in from anywhere, right? Um, but yeah, I think from, from Hernandez's point of view with this card, or if you are trying to play him, I definitely think you need to train him up to be an impact player. Now, I'm going to be working... I'm working on a video uh, talking about impact players and the roles that they play because I kind of rate them and rank them and I hold them to a different standard. Especially when we're going to be getting rid of the team play style proficiency, you need to have your normal standard players and then you have your impact players, your super subs, your players that can come on and make a difference and throw something different at your opponent if things aren't going its way, your way, okay, but we're going to keep this short and sweet, lads, as we like to do, right, so the key stats that you're going to look for here when we train him up are going to be with this build, as we see here, so you're going to have offensive awareness, you're going to have finishing, and you're going to have acceleration and balance, now, this is kind of a run-of-the-mill super sub, if you want him to be able to come on in like the 60th minute, not so much an impact player, um, but I would definitely be playing him because of that super skill, uh, or that super sub player skill, I would definitely be playing him coming on in the second half, if you are going to be bringing him on in like, you know, the 47th to 60th minute, I would definitely boost up his speed and stamina a little bit. This is probably a little bit even too excessive, but it's more for just to have him a little bit zippy when you're not controlling him. If you are looking to bring him a little bit, you know, deep and collect the ball, touch and go. Um, you don't really need to put many skills on him. He already has everything that you could possibly want. And as I said, you don't need to put in too much time or effort into training him up. You know, you can just need to max out his progression points, which is quite easy. Um, and then be able to use him as an impact player, maybe from the 60th minute on or any time before that. Now, I don't think that that's the best build of him. It's a 93 rated player. But even though he's got 91 awareness, 88 finishing and 88 acceleration with 86 balance, I think the ultimate version of him is going to be this one, right? So if we take a look at this one, it is 93 offensive awareness. You've still got that 87 finishing. We've got 77 header and we've got 74 curl. The speed and the stamina take a slight hit. But that is boosted by the dexterity, which gives us 88 balance, 90 acceleration, and 93 offensive awareness, right? I also like the fact that he's got heading and acrobatic finishing and first time shot. So if you've got the three of these stats on a smaller based player up front, it's very similar to how acrobatic clearance, um, heading, and um, a small on, on a small defender such as Cardoba or so, somebody like that, right? So that is something to keep in mind as well, right? That you can you can you can finish a lot of chances like this. Chikorito reminds me of Robbie Keane, right? I've used Robbie Keane quite a lot in my Road to Glory, but when you do compare him to Romario, which a lot of people have been asking me, there is no real comparison to Romario, lads. He is the best center forward in the game, bar none, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter really how you're training because you're going to have that dribbling, you're going to have the finishing, you're going to have the stamina, the speed, the acceleration, no matter what build you go with him. Even if you don't want to have um, much speed, I mean, you can just, or dribbling, you can boost it into dexterity and just be able to have an absolute demon with 94 acceleration, 96 balance, and 96 offensive awareness. So I think it's a bit unfair to class uh, Hernandez as the same type of player as Romario because I'm going to be playing Romario as my main guy starting every game unless he's down on the, the form whereas Chikorito doesn't matter what form he's coming on I can bring him on as a super sub if things are going against me or if I just want to pip a goal or I'm 2-1 up and I want to just get another goal or I want to sit in the lead and just bring him on as that super sub bonus right so I do think that this this is a great card let me know what you guys think 
Do I think that he's worth emptying the box for? I probably don't because you could get Robbie Keane or you can get Inzaghi or you could have got them as super subs. And there's a lot of other super subs that you can get as well that do a similar job. But he's a great player. I definitely think if you spun for him and you get him, you know, within five spins, I definitely think he's a brilliant lad to have on the bench. He just moves differently. He plays differently. And a lot of people will sleep on him and, you know, be let down um, if they don't get him, right? Or be let down by him because they're trying to play him in a different way. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. I will be back later with some more training guides and some more player breakdowns. Let me know who you want to see next. I'll talk to you in a bit.